gloves, gloves, rubber gloves. Why am I wearing these rubber gloves? Because I'm a part-time doctor. <laughs> I'm a gyne gynecologist. <laughs> yes. That's Akbar. He wrote that one. That's live on the end of the Black Nasty um, <clears throat> CD. Anyway, um, here we are. I'm going to do the, um, the the two salads first. Yes, I do have the gloves on. I'm going to break up this uh, this uh, grilled pita bread. Um, that cocktail that we did, the uh, Jelly Belly. Woo! That was pretty much um, straight booze, um, and I did as a, a favor mm -hmm. to David, um, so we didn't have to sneak um, dump it down the drain. Um, I am drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking his now, so that's two. Um, so we're doing the. Um, here's our uh, grated carrot. That is about three three grated carrots. I'm sorry. Let me get a little teeny bit of this uh, parsley cup in there. <clears throat> okay, and uh, it's it has a dressing that has shallot, agave, a little bit of cayenne, and some olive oil. There we go. There's there is that one. Then the fatouche, which is like a a, a bread salad. Do you know what a bread salad is? Panzanella. It's kind of like a salad where there's Big big chunks of croutons and they get uh, um, all uh, gooey and moist. This is a, this is an interesting one. I started off with um, taking some uh, purple grapes and I I guess I kind of pickled them in some uh, apple cider vinegar and a little bit of salt. And there they are right there. And I'm going to add this uh, pickling liquid in with the uh, dressing. And then we have some uh, pita bread that's been uh, grilled and I brushed it with some olive oil and some cumin and some garlic and some salt and some Aleppo pepper. It did call for pepper flakes, but I went for the, uh, I went for the Aleppo. I know I should add some more of these done. Sorry. And then I'm gonna toss. Now the dressing, this is the one where, you know, this is where I'm gonna get you jet on this one because it's got that yogurt. So the, so the other part of the dressing is um, some, uh, the, the plain uh, non-fat yogurt and it has a little bit of olive oil. It has some dill. And what, what else was that? What was the, oh God, where is that plane? Oh, and some, uh, 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 some sumac. And pomegranate, pomegranate molasses. Yeah, fucking jelly belly. I was thinking you, if you did it, you had the jelly belly, but then you like saved it, and, you know, the, the jelly beans, and they were like a, a treat that you had later on. Yeah, let's go over and let's get the jelly beans. Um, the pickled grapes, go figure. And here is that, the first part of the dressing. So what I'm gonna probably do, I'm just gonna have these, uh, these dressed here. Then I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to get this chicken in the oven. Oh, God, I dribbled. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. This is where I supposed to go on. Sounds like somebody's building a fort in the woods next to our house. <laughs> a sturdy fort, a manly fort. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. There's that. And then, um, <clears throat> so part of our uh, Middle Eastern flavors that we're doing this evening... The, the carrot salad, um, the fatouche. We're doing the uh, spicy eggplant that we've done already. I have the um, s um, sauce for that. You might like that. I don't know. You can give it a try. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing uh, these chicken breasts, and they are resting on some whole garlic cloves. And we have a, uh, a spice blend, and that um, the main spice in there is zatar. And it sounds weird, but it's really it's thyme, oregano, and some sesame seeds. And if you were to smell it, you go, oh, it just, just smells like thyme. So there's some uh, zatar, dried oregano, and some salt that is on this. There's a whole other process to do with this one. But I just want to get this, this one in the oven, and I will uh, finish dressing these salads. And I think in the original recipe, it does call for you to throw a little bit of oil on the chicken, but these are uh, chicken thighs. And it's a... Uh, I got 450 that middle shelf. So let's just hit pause. 
We're gonna finish this drink, make another one, and then I'll uh, I'll get these uh, salads put on the plate. We'll see how that works. Here we go. This is the uh, beginning of our meal. I probably there's probably too much uh, too much salad. What do you think? Is that about? Mm-hmm. A couple of them grapes up in there for for the presentation effect and all. There we go. There is our fatouche. The only thing is, is that I didn't make my own uh, pita, our own. And then there is our uh, grated, grated carrot salad. You know, if you like it, the carrots, they just taste better when they're through the grater. Um, so hang tight, got, got the, uh, I did this up. Uh, Eggplant, I had a little bit of propane in this one tank. I thought, I'm gonna put that on the smoker, put that eggplant in there, and just run that tank till it went dry. And um, so that's, that's what I did there. That's that's uh, for later, so this is what we're gonna start out on. I'm on round two of the jelly and belly hit. You like it, subscribe for the motherfucking Wicca Bar. Yeah, zippy could. They're going fucking able and stop fucking around and let's get dinner going. Shit, it's like nine, it's like nine o'clock. Ah, okay, here we go. All right, I'll be back. So we have the chicken thighs with the uh, zatar oregano salt um, blend over the top of them. And they are roasting in the oven on top of some garlic cloves. And now I'm going to make this, um, it's a tomato rice. Um, so I'm going to pop. Um, it's one of those things you do where you put the... Uh, these seeds in there and you wait a little bit of oil and when they pop then you add the rest of the stuff so I have a, a teaspoon of uh, black mustard seeds a teaspoon of a uh, cumin seed a teaspoon of uh, coriander seed and uh, our friend Jen she doesn't really like things too too spicy and we couldn't well no it's fine you know we couldn't find serrano peppers we really like those over the jalapeno so this is about one quarter um, of, a, of a yeah finely chopped jalapeno in there um, a couple of uh, cloves of garlic that have been nicely grated, and some ginger that's been nicely grated. So I'm just going to put those in here. And then, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, just a wee bit, a wee bit of that there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to let this go. Then, this is a, was technically. It was supposed to uh, use basmati rice, and you were supposed to soak the rice, and then use the rice, the water that you used to soak the rice, making the rice. Um, unfortunately, we had some, uh, didn't have that, but the other one. So there's that, I'm gonna throw in, and here is a cup and a quarter of water, and two tablespoons of tomato paste. There's our cup of rice. We're gonna kind of rice roni this a bit. It's not very exciting. And then, when the rice cooks and it's done, I'm gonna half up these uh, tomatoes here. I'm gonna put that in there. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. Cooking rice, it's not really all that exciting. Um, we'll be back. Got about 20 minutes left on the chicken. And when I get our uh, liquid in here, 15 minutes or so on that. And then we've got the uh, eggplant. I think it should be good. I will, uh, I will give it a little test there. There we go. Hang tight. Moved on to wine. Oh my God, the jelly belly. <laughs> that is really something. Um, I guess I did about one and a half, of it. one and two thirds, one and three quarters, most of the two. <laughs> most, well, David had a couple of sips. I watched him. He kept putting it in his mouth and, and spitting it back in his mouth. <laughs> That's why I wanted to drink it. I needed to absorb some of the strength and power. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Fuck, I can do it. Um, here we are. Um, I. Well, I burnt the eggplant the second time because, you know, we came in and we started talking about stuff that really had nothing to do with me cooking dinner. It's kind of women, they do that. <laughs> they call that the art of deception and um, mis misdirection. They're like magicians. 
And so, of course, I burned, burned the eggplant. I'm not going to hear the fucking end of it, man, until, like, next Wednesday. <laughs> but there's a little teeny bit, and I tossed it with our, uh, our dressing. The um, tomato rice, it's one of the recipes where it's like, I should have intuitively known that the uh, measurements were off. Um, but, uh, Trust I, your gut. Yeah, but when I do a, a new recipe, I don't want to uh, uh, disrespect the, uh, okay. the author. And um, the, the chicken was cooked on those garlic cloves. I put, I wrote, wrote the garlic cloves up through the uh, Nutribullet, and then there's uh, a little bit of lemon, lemon zest, olive oil. So it's a little bit of sauce. It's going to uh, go over the chicken. Oh, there's the chicken already. Should I, should I use a scoop to keep the rice really? I guess it's good. The uh... Here for that sauce. Boom. Um, there we go. That's dinner. You know, it's um mind over matter. Mind over matter. Um it's 7:30. It's just weird, you know. You get into this, you think you're like, oh man, I'm about an hour behind. It's like, oh, it's only 7:30. So if you guys have like barely been here, and it seems like three hours have passed. But you go um, home already. Oh, not even. God, we barely started this bottle of wine, and I think there's like nine more that you guys brought that we have to drink before you. And, and uh, you know. Um. Anyway, uh, peace out for the Wicker Bar. I am the host. We have we have guests. Um. We're, we're making dinner. It's still early. We're playing rock and roll records, and we're uh, having just a jolly good time. And we hope that you are too. From. The mightiest of unicorns that fly in the sky to the lowliest of earthworms that crawl through your compost bin that you have in your backyard. Peace out from the Wicker Bar. I'm the host of this video, Lords of You Blade, the Duke of the Goddamn Motherfucking Dover. Time for everybody else's the others. One plate ready. Got three more to make. See ya. Get out of here.